Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first very, uh, <laughs> welcome to the first video of Patrick Reacts. And today is a very special day. It is finally, finally, finally the day of the college football playoff. We have today Oklahoma and Alabama, and we are about to react to it and see what happened. Hopefully, it wasn't a blowout. All right, we have the first beginning kickoff to Alabama, of course. Alabama, of course. Uh, bet you it's play action. And it is. And, of course, there they go. <laughs> Down the field. And, and that is so irritating when they do that. They go from the two to the other two. It's so irritating. It's like when you play a video game and you just you just can't stop them. It's just they're all over the place. They move the whole line. Next thing you know, there goes a receiver flying down the field, and you just can't stop them. It's crazy. And they're already on the on the goal line. And he fumbled. See, that's what I'm talking. You cannot fumble on the goal line. You can't. You cannot. And at the one, uh, if I'm Nick Saban, I, I just got to bench you. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I cannot stand turnovers. I really cannot. Especially on the first possession. Oh, no. No. Can't do it. But to Oklahoma, though. Really, Oklahoma? No. Uh, I think his knees down. Had to be. Oh yeah, his his knee was definitely down. It had to be. Yep, it was. And this is where you have to stop, and I cannot stress that the most. You have to stop them. And see, <laughs> you couldn't stop them. See, this is why Oklahoma lost to Texas. Texas beat their behind. And this is why. You can't you can't play goal line defense and not stop the run. I could I, I understand if you if you you let up a touchdown to play action pass. But just a straight up run, your big boys against their big boys, no, you have to win that all the time on defense. And look, another one, another pass. Why? Because it's a smaller cornerback on a giant tight end. You, you just, you have to have a linebacker that's fast enough to sit on the tight end. You can't. It's just a lose-lose situation. You have to get pressure on the quarterback. And Oklahoma doesn't have that. That's something you have to look in recruiting. And Alabama has the best offensive line, honestly. But look at that. That should have been an incomplete pass. He caught that and still bobbled it and then still got his feet down and still caught it. That's crazy. I, I couldn't. I could not do it. Especially on my games. No. Mm -mm. I'll be going to fit. Now look at this. Look at this. How do you turn the ball over? The ball. How? It's a screen. You go from there to there. You catch the ball, then run. No, I cut. You just go stare at him. I can't. I can't. Like, no. I just can't. I cannot. Oh, oh, it was dumb, my bad, my bad. It was incomplete pass, okay. <laughs> but still, but still. And, and after that, it ain't nothing about Oklahoma. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you want to beat Alabama, you got to score. 
your highlight reel has to be longer than one clip. And you definitely have to cover. You can't just do whatever they do. Look at that. No safety help. And by the time the safety does get over there, it's too late. And another touchdown. Why? Because the front of the defense sucks for Oklahoma. Didn't get enough of good push. That's crazy. I couldn't. I would just be like, all right, you sit down, you go up. If you uh, you you let him push you around, next guy up. We just gonna do rotations until someone figures out. Let's tackle him. Oh, look at that! Uh, a giant tight end on a on a cornerback. Uh, yeah, that's really gonna stop him. Okay. Uh, and another Alabama highlight. Pretty sure they're gonna score. And they do. This is what this is why Alabama is the number one team in the nation because they just continue to fight. They don't let up. They don't care who you are. You could be uh, the Patriots of the NFL. The NFL, uh, yeah, yeah, the Patriots, New England Patriots. I'm pretty sure they could beat them. I'm pretty sure. Why? Because they're coached by Nick Saban. He puts them through a lot, and he's very strict on his rules. You don't follow them, you don't play. But one thing is for sure, he brings in a lot of good recruits. And, okay. Kyler Murray for the Oklahoma Sooners. Finally getting something going. That's what they need. That's what they need. They need some momentum to get back in this game. It's already 28 to nothing. I would have given up by now. Definitely. All right, they're down at the two, finally. Like that's the, oh, Kyle Murray. And if you if you want to beat Alabama, that's what you have to do. You have to get them on their heels by the goal line. If you can't do that, if you keep getting them, if they keep punting it or kicking it off, and you go from your 25 down, you get to uh, the 50, and you stop, you ain't going to beat them. You could definitely can't beat them with field goals. And they're not the Cleveland Browns. And definitely you can't be in the field goal. I don't know why. If I'm Oklahoma, I'm going for it. I'm going to do a play action pass right to my tight end. If it gets three yards, oh well. At least we try. It is 31 to 10. I would, I couldn't. Nope. I would have given up by then. Kyler Murray's finally trying to make something happen, but it's already halftime. It's 0-0. Zero zero. What do you doing after that? I would have just thrown a Hail Mary. If I get picked up, oh, well, who cares? Now they're going for another field goal. Like, that's really going to help. It's not. No. Exactly. That's an interesting little side of it. And another Alabama clip, of course. Jump ball, jump ball, and he should have had it. He should have had it. How do you let that happen? He caught it with one hand. You had both hands on the ball, and you couldn't pull it away? Are you serious? You're weak. You couldn't play for me. Mm. A little too late. It's only the third quarter with three minutes to go. But it's it's about to be 20 to 31, but still. You know Alabama, they put they put on the gas so, so they run out of gas. And this is a mental mistake right here. The safety breaks down, comes in, he gets behind his own cornerback. The cornerback gets behind the receiver, so you just have a line of people and they get caught. And here is another another mental mistake. It's third, third and three. Why would you not choke up? Let me bump him. Let me let me try to hold him at the line. No, you want and you did it again. You did it again. You did it again. You did it again. Why? 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 This is why Oklahoma can never win any kind of good games. They beat Oklahoma. I mean Alabama once. 
once. And I remember, I think the quarterback for old Alabama was A.J. McCarron. Really? The one one person you beat was A.J. McCarron? The Heisman winner? I think he was on me. Heisman? It's crazy. I just feel like Alabama feels sorry for some teams and they just let them score. That's just how I feel sometimes. Especially Oklahoma. And it, they did it three times in a row. The first to number six. They choked up and he went 46 yards down the field. Then they do it again. And then they did it again. How does that happen? How are you? St how is the defensive coordinator having a job for after this game? You're done. You're done. No, nope, you're done. And then here's just a a, a late late score by uh, Oklahoma. And here's the one position you never want to see Alabama in is, is the kneel down. So the final score was 45 to 34. All I can say is Oklahoma try again next year. I mean, what can you say? When your defense comes out and lets 28 points go in the first quarter, your defense, one of the best, a defense that beat Oak, uh, a, 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 a defense that held Ohio State to, I think, a couple points, a couple scores, you can't hold Alabama. And Ohio State has a good uh, quarterback. I can't say his name. Tua to to goalie or something like that. I don't, I don't know. He's he, he's a good quarterback though. But still, your pass rush was non-existent. Secondary non-existent. Safety play non-existent. And goal line defense was horrible. You y'all couldn't get a push. Couldn't get nothing. Alabama was just walking on in, walking on in. They didn't have to try today. Not at all. They would have won. Honestly, they could have kicked their way to a win. That's just how Alabama is. They just don't play. They don't play around. And they don't play when the coach gets mad. So, yeah. Oklahoma next year. Try better. Hopefully, maybe someone will knock Alabama out of the playoff. Which I don't ever say happen. And then... And another thing, if you really do want to be Alabama, you got to come out scoring. You can't let them get up on you because one, even if it's seven to nothing, that's too much momentum for them because they're gonna pick it up and run with it. And you just can't, you can't, you can't stop them. They're just built like that. That's how they're recruited. That's how they bring in so many recruits: five stars, four stars. You barely see them have any three stars. The the one three star they probably might have is offensive line or. Or fullback. That's about it. You'd be seeing these running backs that come in here, 6'5", six, 6'7". Six, I don't know, Derrick Henry, that's with t Tennessee Titans. I, I swear he was like 6'8". He's just running people over like a grown man. He is a grown man. But he, he was running these, these guys over like they were little kids. That's crazy. But thank you for watching. I, I will be posting more videos. Uh, more reactions. I will be reacting to people playing uh, video games. Sports games. I should say that. Other than that, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.